Hi, welcome to Techverse. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make a switch mode power supply with an output voltage of 12 volts, but it can be configured or designed for any other particular voltage. So the complete schematic is as shown. So it's powered directly from the mains to 130 volts, or it, it can work from any voltage from 100 to 240 volts AC. So at the input, you have a fuse for current limiting. You also have this more filter made up of this non-polarized high voltage capacitor x1 capacitor and this common mode inductor choke so what this does is that it uh, eliminates the high frequencies from the switch mode pass apart from interfering with the mains so then there's a full bridge rectifier and there's a thermistor for limiting the inverse current when this bulk capacitor is charging so here you have your high voltage dc so the way this works is that Initially this high voltage transistor, you can use the MTE that is 007 is biased by this 330 kilo ohms resistor and this more to 20 ohms resistor so this will turn it on partially and allowing current to flow through the primary winding the turns are shown it's 20 turns the feedback is 7 turns and the out secondary is 15 turns so when current flows through the secondary winding there will be voltage reduced in the auxiliary winding and this will increase the base bias of the transistor, turning it on completely full, faster. So current will continue to increase in the primary winding until it ceases. So when this happens, the magnetic field will begin to collapse and negative voltage will be induced in the auxiliary winding. This will cause this transistor to shut down very fast. And so when it's completely shut down, the all the magnetic energy stored in the core is transferred to the secondary winding where it is rectified by this high frequency diode and filtered by this capacitor which smoothens the output. There is a minimum load resistor on the secondary side which is recommended for switch mode power supplies so that they can operate well and it also discharges this capacitor when the power supply is not being used. So that's all about this switch mode power supply, all the components and their values are shown. If you want the piece in this for the project just request in the description or in the comment sections and I'll give them to you. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe for more amazing tutorials and click the notifications bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Have a nice time.